everybody, today is my January Reads video and whenever I quotated January, one of the books I finished in November and then I hadn't really read anything in December and then the rest of the books I finished in January or have just started. So let's get on with those books now, shall we? There's five books in total. All five of them complete a challenge in the 26 book challenge. Let's start with the book that I finished in November, and that is Artemis Fell and the Lost Colony. And this completes the book you started but did not finish challenge. And I did not like this book, which is so sad because I loved the beginning couple of books in the Artemis Fell series. And the last book before this one and this one were just so disappointing. I was hoping that this one would make up for the fact that the last one was not so great. But this one probably should have ended about halfway through it. There's about six or seven plausible end points that it should have ended on, but it kept dragging the book on, kept adding things that really didn't need to be added, and just, it was so hard to get through this book, you guys. I powered through this as much as I could because I almost DNF'd this book. I almost truly did. The reason why I didn't DNF is because I just wanted to finally finish the series. So with that, I gave this a 1 out of 5 stars. Did not like it. A couple of weeks ago, I participated in Riley from RM Fit Facts Read Your Face Off Readathon since she reached a thousand subscribers. That's what her her re, uh, viewer base basically voted on for her to do. And I semi participated. Basically, I read in, on Saturday, but didn't read on Sunday because I had to work at seven in the morning. But I finished this on that Saturday. This is Hollow City by Ransom Riggs. This is so good. I love this book. I technically started it in November. I got through a couple of pages and then I went into a reading slump. I just get into these points where I just don't feel like reading at all and I really hate that I like put off reading this for the month and a half that I did because this was so good. Ransom Riggs just has a way of writing that just pulls you in and keeps you there from page one. I did not want to put this book down. I cannot wait for the to read the third one. And I'm almost sad to read the third one because it's just so good. The first one was good. This one was good. I have a feeling that uh, Library of Souls will be just as good because I keep hearing people say that the entire series as a whole was just phenomenally written. And I do not disagree because so far the first two books, so good. I gave this a 4 out of 5 stars. The next book that I started during the Read Your Face Off Readathon but did not finish was A Night Without Armor by Jewel. I'm going to preface this by saying I love Jewel's music. I love the way her writing style is with her song lyrics. There were some good poems in this book, but a majority of them I just did not like. And that made me so sad because I love Jewel. I love her writing in her songs. So for a good majority of her poems, they just felt like sixth grade diary entries. I mean, a lot of them were basically just reliving what she felt like whenever she was younger. Kind of had that vibe. Don't get me wrong, some of the song, some of the poems in this book were good. They were really good and they, they tugged at my heartstrings, but I had to give this a 2 out of 5 because the majority of it just was not up to the par that I was expecting Jewel's poetry to be. It made me so sad. I'm sorry, Jewel. I love your music, but I'm sorry. So this covered the challenge a book of poems and Hollow City covered the book with pictures in it. I forgot to mention that whenever I talked about Hollow City. The next book that I finished in January is Cinder by Marissa Meyer and why in the heck did I wait so long to read this? Oh my god this book was good. There were some points in the book that were a little bit predictive, but it was predictive in a way that I knew what was coming but not how it was going to happen. So that kept me intrigued and wanting to see how it progressed. It's so, so good. It, it was just so enthralling. I, I kept wanting to read it. I kept wanting to keep going. This was so good. I loved it. And I can't wait to delve into the Lunar Chronicles series a little further. Why did I wait so long to read this? And I also gave this a 4 out of 5 and this completed the book that other people have read but you 
challenge. And then as of this recording on the 29th of January, I have started Ready Player One by Ernest Cline. I'm only 32 pages into it. Obviously, it's still the 29th of January. That could change by the end of the month. But I have a feeling I'm not going to finish this by the time that the end of the month comes up. I'm really enjoying it so far. It's a little on the slow side. I'm guessing that it's going to pick up here pretty soon. I'm hoping so. I put this book under the challenge, a book that's made into a movie. I know the movie hasn't been released yet. I know that it comes out this year. But since it is being made into a movie, I might as well go ahead and put it under that category. All right, so that is my January reads. And if you have read any of those books, let me know what you thought of them in the comments down below. And if you disagree with what I thought about each of those books, let me know. Let's have a discussion. Anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. You guys have a lovely day, and I will see you guys later. Bye!